for today is this really neat 1967 Gibson J160E. Now, why is this a famous model? Well, it's famous because of its use by the Beatles. Both John Lennon, probably most recognizably, but also George Harrison used it frequently on Beatles records in the early part of their career. Probably the most famous place you've heard it, Electric Plugged In, is that song that opened up our little video here. It's the lick from I Feel Fine, played by John Lennon. Look up videos of them playing this live. You'll see John open up by playing that lick on this guitar. Sounds like an electric guitar, but it's actually an acoustic electric guitar because of this little P90 pickup and volume and tone controls obviously mounted on the guitar. You'll also hear it unplugged on a few very famous songs. For example, you may recognize not just the chord changes, but the sound of this guitar on this, on this song. A Day in the Life. And one of their most famous songs, Hey Jude, you'll hear the tone of this guitar there as well when it, the guitar comes in like this. idea. Um, it's obviously uh, a, a distinctive, almost thin sounding acoustic guitar tone. It's the J160E. Now I know for most people, just kind of like when you think of that desirable acoustic tone, this isn't it. And to be honest, I think this guitar is at its best when it's plugged in. But if you want that kind of sound, uh, because you're playing a Beatles song, or you just want that kind of old school 60s Beatles acoustic sound, this is the guitar that'll do it for you. Uh, the guitar is all original except for this saddle. I have the original saddle. It's a wood saddle. You just put right back in there. But this is a bone saddle that's a drop-in replacement. So no modifications have been done to the guitar at all. I've just swapped the wood saddle for the bone saddle. It sounds better. It gives you better sustain. The wood saddles uh, are very percussive. They don't have a lot of sustain. Once in a while, you'll get one that sounds okay. I typically don't care for the wooden saddle at all, so I almost always replace it. If you really want just the wooden saddle, I'll take this off and reinstall the wooden saddle for you, and you'll get the guitar without the bone saddle, if that's what you want. Um, comes in a black chipboard case. It's an older chipboard case, but it's not anything special, and I don't think it's from the 60s. So, anyway, that's a quick rundown of the guitar. Uh, I think it's a cool guitar to have. If you don't have uh, one of these in your collection, it's one that I think... Uh, everybody should have if you're interested in and you like vintage Gibsons. Um, yeah, appreciate you checking out the video. If you are interested in purchase, purchasing it, uh, it's for sale in lots of places, Reverb and eBay. They're all great sites to buy it from. Um, but the best place you can buy it is on my website. You'll probably get the best price there. And if you're not in Washington State, I don't legally have to charge you sales tax at checkout. So for what it's worth, you might want to be aware of that. At the same time, I don't want to encourage anybody... Uh, to not pay their taxes. If you have use, use tax laws in your state, be aware of them. Uh, but nevertheless, I don't have to collect it from you and submit it to your state on your behalf as I'm small enough to be under the thresholds for um, the, that states have in order to submit that tax. At any rate, thanks for checking out the J160E. Have a great day.